I'm Dr. Tingle Storm, but you can call me Stormy. And I heard that you have a very annoying headache again. Okay, do you mind if I just uh, delicately touch the areas of your head and neck to see if there is any tenderness? Okay, thank you. So, when did this start? And how many times a month, on average, do you experience this kind of pain and discomfort? I see. Could you tell me where it is mainly focused? In which part of the skull do you perceive it the most? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's very important to um, understand the type of headache that you have and the possible reasons that cause this headache before we go ahead with any treatment, you know? I just want to quickly, quickly inspect your ears as well, because sometimes there is a strict link between headache and some ear imbalances so if that's okay for you i'm gonna use my otoscope to just have a quick peek inside of your ears okay thank you so. that feel especially during the tension of keeping open or keeping clenched mm -hmm. now I'm looking at the other ear as well in this case anything alarming in your ear canal which is a very good uh, signal which, me which means that we can go ahead and find out more about the reason and the location of your headache okay all right so let me just grab our little friend here if your headache is all over your head and you particularly feel it here that's usually a tension headache and it's usually bringing with itself some other symptoms such as a tenderness in the neck and tension so it's 
pretty common we just need to report how many times this is happening of course if your head is located behind one eye or usually just features one part of the face and is like a pulsing piercing pain that comes and go that's a cluster headache it can last from 15 minutes to three hours and it can occur several times a day it can usually bring symptoms such as sweating in the affected area red running eyes and other uh, um, discomfort of that sort if your headache is piercing and coming from inside of your head it just feels so uncomfortable that's migraine and uh, migraine can last for several days and can have visual symptoms as well such as flashing lights, some lines or blind spots in your vision, bloatings and things like that since its nature is very um, since its characteristics are so piercing and intense it's usually very uncomfortable and debilitating to have a migraine especially because it's not just located in one spot so you cannot try to like live despite it you know usually though migraines can be pretty common in a family so it can be related to genetics so it would be nice to uh, see if your family members as well do happen to have this um, particular condition and it is usually triggered by dehydration, skipping meals, sleep deprivation so you can already start working towards improving your lifestyle choices and it will um, most likely reduce how many migraines you get perhaps similar in the perception but definitely different in longevity Hemicrania continua uh, features most likely one side of your face so you might confuse it with cluster headache initially but the characteristic of Hemicrania continua is that it can last for up to three months so it's quite uncomfortable and again it causes sweating in the affected area, swelling, redness, tearing eye and all these sort of conditions then we have ice pack headache that is a very short piercing pain happening in different parts of your head even at a multiple times at the same time multiple spots at the same time so it's all over all over little piercing spikes of pain it's pretty uncomfortable but it shouldn't last too long and there is a thunderclap headache that is a headache that starts from like right out the blue and it peaks at its intensity in under a minute so it's like very immediate and we must be very careful to this kind of headache because it might sometimes cause uh, it might sometimes be the effect of other more severe symptoms such as a stroke for example so we want to be um, very curious uh, very aware of that then of course if you happen to feel a excruciating pain at the base of your neck here right behind you accompanied with nausea um, pain behind your eyes and nose um, dizziness neck tension that's the cervical pain it's a very annoying kind of pain that is usually caused by stress, anxiety, 
too much pressure to handle and that's a very uncomfortable kind of headache because it can last even for days many times and it can also affect your balance thank you so much mr skeleton for offering to model for us today not that he had a choice by the way now that i explained you a little bit about all the uh, possible migraines can you relate to something in particular okay so that that can be like migraine and cervical pain makes perfect sense are you particularly stressed out i could feel a lot of tenderness and tension in your neck and shoulders during the initial palpation so i can definitely confirm that it must be the case i just want to have a look at your pupil please so uh don't look directly into the light i'm just flashing it flashing it close to your pupils do you feel any pain any discomfort when i do so okay so like around your orbital area there is a little bit of sensitivity yes so um how would you describe your pain level right now mm -hmm. was it before we started the exam i see i am going to relax you today so we're going to start with a nice massage all over your neck and shoulders so that we can loosen up the tension this nerve right here that is particularly related to cervical pain so I'm just going to loosen up all the tension that you have accumulated in this area to loosen up your forehead muscles here sometimes you know tension anxiety responsibilities they make us frown and frowning creates this tension that not only you me Also, 
adds on to the tension which translates into pain movement. Back to the neck and the jaw. Good. And back in the forehead. treatment involves some sound waves and these sound waves are going to relax you even deeper Just 10 minutes every day Maybe before everybody wakes up Or right after everyone went to bed Just a little bit of time
doesn't have to always be the same Listen to your body Use this nice cloth to finalize the relaxation by once again massaging you as well as allowing you to enjoy. sounds and pleasant pleasant visuals so as the gloves touch your skin and massage your soft tissue and just have a look at the sparkly particles inside or you can just close your eyes and enjoy the bubbly, bubbly water sound oh.
myself. And stop thinking that you must be perfect all the time. Because nobody is perfect all the time. And if someone And you are amazing just the way you are. Stop trying to stretch yourself too thin to make everybody happy, to please everybody. Just do what is the best version of yourself, but being the best version of yourself sometimes just means to take a step back and rest or admit that you might need help to do something or you might us, what has helped us level up, but in order to learn, we have to not to know something, so it's perfectly fine if you don't know how to deal with something or how to complete a task. Accept the limits and work with them, not against them. Thank you so much for allowing me to treat you.